Hey guys, how's it going? Master Bucks here. Welcome to another episode of, of course, the Creator Club Career Mode in FIFA 20. We are so, so close now to really the end of this season and also getting close to FIFA 21, which means the inevitable end of this series as well. We are in prime position to win this Premier League, our first ever Premier League title. We're, of course, still in the Champions League with a favourable draw, I reckon, in the round of 16. So I'm hoping this season could be the season where something happens for us. I got about $80 million in the budget, which is nice. But at the same time, of course, we recently signed a big partnership with uh, Red Bull and we renamed to RB Masters for this season. As a result of that, we have certain perks that we get, of course. There are other Red Bull affiliate clubs all across the world. And like they do, if there's a player that is maybe a little bit better, shall we say, in a lower team in the uh, of the affiliate teams, is that they can basically just request to have that player and play for, you know, RB Leipzig, takes a few RB Salzburg players, and we are basically going to have a look and see if there are any players that I would like to do the same with. So I'm literally going to start scrolling through here, see if there are any 80-something rated players, younger guys that have high potentials that... Maybe I want to go for. We got one bloke by the name here. Uh, oh my god, I I should know how to say his name, but we know that this man's a beast. Dominic Zobersly? Oh, I'm not sure. Is that how you pronounce it? He would be 25 years of age right now, and at 86 overall. There's, of course, the New York Red Bulls as well, but I doubt we'll find any 80 rated players in here. There's like a 79 rated player, Jorgensen. I don't know, it depends on if any of these guys were a little bit younger and had higher potentials, but uh, not seeing too much. And of course, RB Leipzig have a ton of players that I could go in for, but um, I think I it would not be possible for me to just say, yeah, we'll take RB Leipzig's best player. I just no. They, they're actually a team that have made Champions League gone pretty deep, so I think it'd really only be if I was able to take anyone from that Salzburg team or that New York Red Bulls team. And look, I tell you what, I probably wouldn't be able to play him all that much, but I'm going to just make the request. I'm going to be like, hey, we're going to take him off your hands. He's 86 rated. He shouldn't even be in Austria anyway. But to be honest, he, at least he'd be playing every game and he'd be a star over there. For me, he'd only play the odd game here or there. So it's a bit tough, but the team's just that good. But I tell you what, he's a bloody great player. I'm just going to ask for him. So I have just formally made the request to transfer Soboslai into this uh, RB Masters team. And we're going to just see if he ends up coming or not. For now though, I'll just keep advancing on ahead. I'm getting big offers for my own players as well, like $100 million for Jeff Adelaide. That is an even bigger offer than what I've received previously from Manchester City and Dortmund and apparently I could get 150 for him that would be nuts but like he's genuinely that good I don't know if I want to even let him go for 100 mil I mean I'll do what I always do and delegate to see how much they're willing to pay but I, I don't know I think he is genuinely one of the most not underrated players but oh my god he's joined he's actually joined Sober Sly is oh my god he's in the team he is a guy that can play at left mid right mid and center attack in midfield. You know what? I didn't even know that he could play at both right mid and center attack in midfield as well. That he was such a good utility player. Holy hell. With, with that little bit of news, you know, I'm almost starting to think he could potentially... He is more technically gifted and savvy than Ekone is. He's got better passing, slightly better dribbling, better physicality. The shooting's the same. It's just pace that Ekone is better at. But four-star weak foot and skill moves can play multiple positions... I genuinely think I'm going to chuck him in there, you know. I reckon he might become now like a bench player for me immediately. It is like tough, really tough on a Kone to be 88 rated sitting on the bench. But I've got a few very highly rated players like Steven Plaza who's just come back from a loan. He, I, I don't know what I do with him, but I, he's been doing what he did well on loan for Brentford. Paqueta's 85, but he gets into the rotation plenty. Mavropanos is basically, like, dead. Like, I'm, I should probably look to sell Mavropanos and maybe even just a Kone for the fact that, you know, Ryan Kent's barely played at all either, you know, and he's he started from day dot. That's another reason why I wonder if I should let him go or keep him and just let him be a one... or not a one-cup player, but just spend... You know, I don't know what to do with all these, like, really decent players I have on my bench or in my reserves. But in that case, yeah, Dominic Soboslai is going to be a bench player for me. Has that special something. 
I've got him on a rotation squad role. Okay, sure. Um, I guess that, to be fair, is very fitting because he will be in the rotation. He won't be starting, though. We have the FA Cup coming up, first round that we're playing in it. I'm going to switch over to the, uh, the second team. Like, look at this. This is my first team, okay? This is my second team. These are my second string players, all of them above 80, some are nuts, apart from Shinton. This is why, like, I don't even know if I want to spend the money, but with the second team against Watford, we get a simple, simple 2-0 win. Uh, an injury for Tavares, though, we hope will not be a bad one. And a very early red card for Mavropanos, yeah, wow. So, um, God, that scoreline could have been way better. It's a three-day injury for Tavares, that is absolutely fine, really. He'll just come right back. It's, it's to a point now where, like, I don't even know. We've got $75 million in the budget. I don't know who to buy. I, I don't know who in the world I actually purchased to increase this team. I'm sure I can make improvements, but I don't need to. There is no excuse for me not to win a Premier League or even a Champions League with this team. And with the depth that's good enough for us to field a second team like this. All I'm going to use this money on is, like, we had one player, unfortunately, leave us because of the fact that we didn't give him a new contract or something, Isaac Kelly. He was a nice, promising young player, 18 years of age, 74 overall, had high potential. I'm going to bring him back, if I can, just because I'm, like, a bit pissed off that I let him go in the first place. I'm just going to be like, fuck it, I'm just going to buy him right back. Granada's going to make, like, 30, p 30 million, just like that. I, whatever, but I don't give a fuck. I have nothing else to spend the money on, and I'm not going to let you get away with it. So yeah, bang, there you go. We've gone and just got him right back. How dare you, Granada? I hope you've learned your lesson. You and your, like, 30 million dollar lesson. Oh, god damn it, whatever. And i tell you what, only because we tried to sign him before, and I apparently have heard he's quite a recommended option for me. We're going to go ahead and sign Marvelous Nakamba. I mean, come on, you know, every single team has got, like, that one weird signing, like, you know... Barcelona signing Martin Braithwaite or PSG getting what Chupo Motting. Well, this one's ours, I reckon. That guy that like you know you never expect to sign for them, but you know who knows he could be he could potentially feature in the future. So Nakamba has signed, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Another loan offer, transfer offer from Mavropanos. If it's only for twenty million, I'll just keep him. Whatever. Let's just get into this next game against Bournemouth. I might almost play it, you know. Uh, sim the... Actually, I'll play the game against Burnley, maybe with a bit of a rotator team, and save up a strong side for this Arsenal game. Just because, and only because, it's the away game, anything could happen. But surely in a home game, oh my god, we get a super early injury, and Adelaide bails us out a 1-0 simple win. This one, thankfully, too, is only a three-day injury, just like Tavares. Alright, let's advance on ahead now. This game against Burnley, we will play it. It's a good thing that we won our previous game, because look at this. We are currently... At the moment, only two points ahead of both Liverpool and Arsenal. We are currently enjoying the best season we have ever had, and yet still, they are right there with us. We lose one game, and they win one, and it's and it's toast. It's done. We're, we're off the top of the spot. We're no longer champions-elect anymore. It's, it's a killer, man. It's a killer. We just have to keep absolutely hammering these teams ruthlessly to even have a chance of winning the Premier League. So can we do it? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, Burnley. Snowy day today. Some interesting conditions you would imagine would maybe particularly fit the home team and their style of play, but I'm hoping we'll still come out with a big win. With that iconic front three of ours and these iconic RB Masters kits, taking on bloody Burnley. Come on, we got to smash these boys. Ruthlessness. That's my mentality. I hate to sound like a snob, but we are so far above these peasants. Come on, I want a 5-0 win today. Knock that one on four for Hunter. Yep. Oh, that's a nice move, but they read that so easily. Javi Hernandez. Oh, I do recognize that name. I think it was a Salford City signing back in the day. Uh, still not getting the chance here. Oh, there's a huge gap that's presented itself right here. And the save was made by Pope, but he could not deny the power behind that right foot of Hunter Hunter. I was about to say, God damn, there is no way. Look at that. The defender, it's actually... Well, I did put that straight at Pope. It's the run from Haberts. If you were paying attention, that means we got so much space there. And yeah, I really did put that pretty close to Pope. But we just hit it too hard. 16 Premier League goals. I don't know if he's going to end up finishing with the most he's ever got. Like 30, like he did last season. But he is uh, close. Another goal for Hunter. That's his 16th of the season. There's been a lot more you know, goal scoring from other sources. So maybe he won't finish with the most that he's gotten in a Premier League season this time around, but he's still been magnificent. How is that ball still going? Finally, Kubo's got it. 
We'll play this. Near post. Oh, that's a rocket. Kai Havertz having a big game today. He set up the space for Hunter Hunter to bang it in. And now he's doing that. Getting himself a goal. That is absolutely magnificent. Left peg, top corner at the near post with sheer power to get it past Pope. How about the placement on that? Oh my. I was wondering if Kai Havertz was going to be as good for me as, of course, the one and only Jeff Adelaide was at centre attack in midfield, but he has his days for sure. Oh, Taki Fusakubo's just about going to keep that one alive. I was hoping to get that for Adelaide. I can see a ball here. Hunter, tough angle. Oh, off the post. That would have been a great assist. The fake shot. He's in. Ah, oh, still ain't got much. Could have a pop. Might try it. Oh, now Pope finally makes a save and stops one. Pass off there. Ah, oh, Adelaide goes around one. Should bang this in. Wide. Wow, I'm actually getting quite frustrated. How I only have a two-goal lead going in a halftime, it, it bewilders me with the amount of shots I've had. Oh, Got to be so much better. Come on. I mean, we got our two goals early. We're in a comfortable position, but they get one and it makes things interesting. Let's start off immediately. Ah, oh, header. Ah, oh, fucking headers in this game. That is so... That is one of the most simple headers you could possibly imagine right there. Tight angle, sure. But how's he putting that over? They're sitting off me, aren't they? Oh, finally now. Finally now, Adelaide has got it. His sixth attempt of the game. And finally, we have the third goal. That is too easy. Pope, like, just forget about it. He watches it go in. And he's playing it basically centre midfield. We have got to put, if we haven't already, I feel like I have been, but I think we now really need to realise just how big of a legend this guy actually has been for us over the last couple of seasons. Oh, the preemptive slide tackle that I thought at first I actually kind of got wrong. But it's worked out here. Hoping to time Kubo in. Crossback stick if it gets there. Great ball in. Oh, that's the goal from Elliot right there. That's magnificent. Finally, we broke it. The third goal that we had oh, waited so long for, and now we're starting to get it rolling. I said I wanted a 5-0 win. I might well get it if I keep going. Fuck. Oh, there's the fifth goal. There it is, but not for me. It's going to be for them. They cross one in at that near post. I'm expecting it to be cleared. My defender's fucking behind him. And the ball, the goalkeeper's right in front too. How did it not get saved? This is what I want to know. I'm chasing with Elliot for some reason. He can't stop the cross in. What is fucking Zagadu doing? He's just standing there for Christ's sake. And it goes through, of course. Yeah, what is Zagadu doing? I'm controlling Kerry, I swear. And that to get under his legs, man. Fuck off. Sally, going to switch it. Nah, we'll hold it up. Good work. Davies maybe a goal for the captain. Maybe you can feed Hunter. I've taken a touch here. Why? Oh, fuck. I should have just shot the ball. Maybe still a chance here. Can you provide an assist on debut? Kamavinga is still going. Low cross in. And Davies, I tried to cut it across. Didn't quite happen. Is the referee still going to give this to me? Maybe. Maybe. Davies. I've gone pretty far back. Yeah, I'm just trying to bang it in forward. That's all right. I'm just, I was just trying so desperately, apparently, for that goal like I needed it. No, I don't. It's a 4-1 win for RB Masters. Big dub and another three points. I just keep waiting for Arsenal or Liverpool to hopefully slow down and to give us that bit more space. So there's the win. But ladies and gentlemen, what I said I was going to do, I completely forgot about. I did not even think about resting players because I just spaced on the Arsenal game that we have got coming up. Which means my starting 11 is looking like this. Some of them have very good stamina, so they should recover. And we did make subs, but I don't know what it's going to look like in three days, though. It's actually not too bad, you know. We can, we can maybe manage. I might make one or two changes, but that's about it, though. I'm going to play Lazaro at left wing and not Suboslai. I think that's... I don't know if I've forgotten it or stuffed it up, but either way, I'm not going to play him or start him in a game this big. Not, not just yet. Not against Arsenal, a team that could very well win the Premier League title over me if we're not careful. Paqueta goes in. Uh, we have got a pretty attacking midfield there, as you can see. Hoekstra goes in for Carrier, and that is about it. Everyone else, I think, is going to manage, hopefully. Fingers crossed. It is a big game. It is a huge, huge game. I mean, every game, especially against Arsenal and Liverpool this season will very well determine who could win the Prem. Imagine how big a win here would be. Imagine it, okay? We 
send these guys down a position or two potentially, we'd be five points clear, and then our main worry would become Liverpool. Arsenal with, oh, they've got Corona back at right back now. They've got their strong back line. Fabinho's in there with Ndidi. Yanazai, okay, is interesting. Antu Fati starting. And Luis Javier Suarez, the younger one in career mode, with Willock at center attack in midfield as their captain. I remember Willock being in their team before, but wow, hasn't he had quite the little glow up in career at Arsenal? Off we go then. Oh, yes, Hoekstra, the big man getting in the way early. And I wanted to try to send away Hunter early, but he went too early. Ah, oh, nice ball, that. Kubo, the stop and turn, it works too well. Oh, but Tierney just... They recover so quickly. Some fullbacks more than others. Tierney has been, like, every time I played Arsenal, outstanding. Fucking hell, I'm out of options. Oh my god! I just went one defend. I kept sending defenders and none of them were able to stop. Oh, fuck that ball from getting in. And then eventually I just ran out of options. Uh, went in for the tackle with Hoekstra and missed. And Fatty just comes in and there's no one there. Well, you can just fuck off then, seriously. What is that? I make a great tackle. Bounces up for him. There's two. Just feels like they have a pace advantage on me. That is, I got done with the, uh, with the, you know, bloody Cruyff turn there, but that happens all the time. Then I make a great slide tackle, and he just fucking jumps over me and shoots after a great challenge. I've made a lot of tackles and not gotten the ball back. I just feel fucked over so much in these first 20 minutes. This has been AIDS, man. This has really been fucking bullshit. Oh, that's a foul too. I thought that was clean. Referees even giving them the soft ones just feels like everything that could go against me at this point has it is fucking infuriating That one gets out to Corona And there's no one after he gets past me to beat it. fucking hell I just need to get better with my own tackling but at the same time. Oh my god If we can Hunter the touch to go around Kim Pempe makes the tackle They've been outstanding defensively have not been able to get past Tini and Kim Pempe Carrying the fucking team right there. Every time I make a tackle, I just can't stick anything. They keep getting the balls back. And every time I don't make a tackle, they go around me and score. They capitalize every time. This is better though. Oh, look at this. We can sweat this, but we're not going to. Gonna do the right thing. Paquette has got it. There it is. I could have sweated it. Hunter should have been in a position for me to get there, but Tierney's just coming in like fucking insane. He is a man driven to stop the sweat. Instead, we just go all our own, do the right thing. Paquetta uh, gets the big goal for us, and we need one more now. He does love a big goal coming into a game, that is for sure, Lucas Paquetta. He, he really is. If it wasn't for his rating, he'd be playing so many more games. Oh, wow. No one's there. No one. Anyone in the way, though? Bounce fucking back again after every tackle. Oh my god. There are just some games you just don't, they can't let you in. Look at this. Great tackle to bounce back, but there's no one there. And as soon as he gets his shot off there, Antu Fatty. I've got Hoekstra in the way. He can't stop it either. Just what the fuck, man. I'm getting no reward, it feels, for my defense. And it's been so hard. They seem so much faster, stronger. It's killing me. Could Davies just go the whole way and get it right back? That'd be nice. Hunter, can you go around Kim Pempe? No, just bumping me the fuck off. Oh, God. Paqueta again. Tight angle. There's a man right in the way. I've been absolutely taken the fuck out after that shot. Is there nothing for that referee? What about for this? Ah, oh, for this! Kubo, big goal! Come on, son! Maybe there's a chance. We played it in for Kubo here. That's a great assist there. Touch. Bang into the top corner. We have a little over five minutes remaining today. But this just touch and smash through a bunch of defenders to find the top corner is magnificent. If we can draw this game, we'll stay top of the table. We need one more. All right, we've got it. I need to find someone who's open. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. I wanted that long ball up over the top. It wouldn't work out for me. Adelaide again here. In behind Lazaro, maybe. Hunter. Adelaide's going a long way here, but he's pretty tired. He's really tired. I don't know if we'll find an option to cut back to or not. Nah, he won't because they were just filling the fucking back line. Get it up there as quick as you can, Davies. Camavinga, the spin. 
Hunter, Hunter, Hunter fucking Hunter's put it wide on the last second and Arsenal have won it and we have lost our spot on the top. Oh, it was there. Driven it wide and that is just the cherry on top of the most fucking infuriating day. Oh, I can't quite believe it. It's, goddamn. It is, uh, it is a loss. It is 3-2. We have gone down to Arsenal then. That's his only attempt at the game, mate. Thanks. Fucking hell. Oh. Would have been fantastic, but no. No. And Adelaide's just too fucking tired. If he had a bit more pace, he could have maybe gone the whole way, but no. Oh, well. So, because of that result, Liverpool have now jumped up into top spot. Arsenal are second. RB Masters down to third. There's a bit of a divide, a, a bit of a gap between ourselves and fourth place Man City. So it's just, it's still us three right now that are going for this. And it's just, they're not going to stop. Liverpool and Arsenal are not going to stop. They're just going to keep getting wins. I mean, let's look at it again. At 24 games they've played. They've dropped points in five games only. So if you do the math, that's only about three, maybe four games tops that they'll actually drop points in. That will give us that opportunity to get back up on top. You need to be perfect, man. You need to be near perfect. But anyway, we still have plenty of games left and they will eventually get a draw or two, maybe a loss or something. I don't know. Like both of those teams will. We just have to be, we have to be ready. Next game is against MK Dons in the FA Cup. But honestly, I'll, I'll probably leave it here, you know. We are still in the transfer window. I don't know if we're going to do any anything else because our team is just ridiculous. Like there's no really one else that I would like to buy. Um, I've got players I'd loan away or sell, but that's about it though, really. Um, yeah, I think we'll probably just in the next episode wrap up the window, maybe potentially play the first leg of the Champions League round 16. Who knows? We did also, by the way, have uh, an agreement on a price for Jeff Adelaide, but it's only a little bit more than what they originally offered PSG for him. And I just, I don't know if, I'm just not going to let him go. I'm not going to, even for 100 million. At a little over the halfway stage of this season, Jeff Adelaide, who has played eight games less than Hunter Hunter, has only two goals and assists less than him. And he has been moved to centre midfield. He's still, even in a deeper position, getting these numbers. It's un unfreaking believable. Like, he's getting more goals, the same amount of assists, but more goals than Kai Havertz, dude. Like, I can't fathom it. He is genuinely unbelievable. And even though Hunter's just doing his thing, you know, man, he's continuing to be a beast. Ryan Adelaide has got to be there. He has got to be right there for player of the season. Finally, maybe this season. But we will leave it here though, people. Thank you all for watching this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more because we are still fighting for this title, goddammit. And we want that Champions League too, which we'll hopefully play in the next episode. But till the next one, my name's Masterbucks. Have a good one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you later. Bye-bye.